Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 7 look like Mac OS X Snow Leopard. So in the description is going to be the first link. It's going to be called the Universal Team Patcher. You could download it, install it, and yeah. And if you're too lazy or you don't know how to use the Theme Patcher, right hand corner, lower right hand corner, the little box is to my other tutorial to how to do that, how to install custom themes onto your Windows 7. So this works for 32 bits and 64 bits, so you don't have to worry. Uh, just go up here and click download. Once you click download, it's gonna come in raw, extract it, and yeah, double click on it. System files and themes. That's what those are the two files, folders that are gonna come with. So let's double click on system files. So there's going to be Explorer, ExplorerFrame.dll, Shell32.dll, they're for 32-bit only, and the Welcome Center. So let's go to Explorer first. So there's going to be a spot for 32-bit and a spot for 64-bit. Click on the one you have. So if you don't know, go to compute. right-click on Computer and go to Properties, and it should say right here, System Type, 64-bit or 32-bit System. So, I have a 64 bit system, but there's nothing in here except the README and the start org. So, what you want to do is go to the one you have, it has the explore. Go to computer, go to your main hard disk, Windows, and go all the way down to your explorer. Once you there's there in your explorer, right click, right click on your explorer and go to properties. Once you're in properties, go to security. And once you're there in security, go to advanced. Once you're in advanced, go to owner. Once you're on owner, go. If your name's not right here, go to edit. Click on your name. If your name's not there either, go to other users or groups and just type in your name. So then hit check names and hit OK. Your name should be there. Click on it. Hit apply. And it says you have just taken ownership. And hit OK again. And yeah. You're going to have it. Ownership. So you want to right click on your Explorer and rename it to Explorer underscore backup. And there. That's all you do and then what you do now is drag the explorer from the snow leopard folder into there drag it in here and now what you do is you right click on your super bar and click on start task manager then what you want to do is go to processes look for explore.exe and end process it says do you want to end the process explore.exe hit end process. Once you do that, go to application tab and go to new task. Type in ex oops, explorer.exe. Hit OK. They're just going to come back to normal and you're going to have a new orb. So then what you would want to do, let's go back there, is you want to go to the explorerframe.dlo tab as well go to your 32-bit 64-bit whichever one you have and go to computer go to your main drive go to Windows this time you wanna go to system 32 and you'd wanna scroll all the way down to the east cause Explorer there it is Explorer so do the same thing I showed you right now with the Explorer right click properties and with the security thing so yeah if you didn't catch that go back and watch that part because this story is too long so then what you want to do is right click name it explorerframe.old once you do that go to the snow leopard file drag in the explorer frame into here so you're gonna have an explorerframe.dll which is the one for this theme and your explorerframe.old which is for your backup so once you do that 
go to go back a couple times again go to shell 32 for 32 bit this is for 32 bit systems only uh, do the same thing that I showed you with the security and rename it shell 32 dot old and replace it with this one so let's uh, replace the welcome center so as well find your 32 bit or your 64 bit and uh, go all the way down it's they're all in the system 32 so all the way down it's right here it's gonna be called O O B E so it's like O B or something F L D R dot D L L do the same thing with the security uh then name it rename it that that old and rip and then put in the one that's in the snow leopard file once you do that everything's gonna be okay you're all done well you're almost done so go to windows and go to resources once your resources double click on themes and go back and go back one more and we're in the snow leopard for windows 7 folder it's gonna be a folder called themes and it's gonna have three files one of them is a folder that says snow leopard another one's a theme file that says snow leopard as well and the other one says snow leopard basic so I'll show you right now so there's snow leopard snow leopard basic and the snow leopard folder drag all three of those to the this right here windows resources themes folder so yeah once you all do that uh, you restart your computer yes that's a shocker you restart your whole computer boot it back up you're not gonna have the theme yet until you right click and go to personalize go all the way down to snow leopard or snow leopard basic whichever you want click on it and you're gonna have this these three things right here you're gonna have all the interface the cool little interface and you're gonna have the back forward of course you're gonna have this cool looking thing and the welcome center or the getting started it's gonna look different so it looks really cool I really like it and if you want these three things to be on the left in the description there's also gonna be a link so you can download this program it's called left sider don't worry it's a portable program so you don't have to worry so just double click on it or hit enter and let's open Firefox and look it's gonna be right here and minimized so yeah I know I've made a video in a long time and I'm sorry um finals for school are over so I'm good and now um one more last thing before I go because this tutorial is very long um if you have sent me a question before and I didn't answer it, it's most likely because I accidentally deleted it. So what I want you to do is resend me those questions. So yeah, resend me those questions and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Most likely, I check my YouTube every day, like every 20 minutes. So I'll answer it right away as soon as I get it. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.